After a few days on St. Bart's, we sailed the few miles northwest to St. Martin, arriving into Simpson Bay on the Dutch side. St. Martin coming into view. We're going to go into Philipsburg to start with. Just going downwind with the main only. Very rolly. As always, going downwind. Woo! Let me try and keep the horizon straight. Some parts disappearing into the background. Simpson Bay. We were anchored here for a couple of hours waiting for the bridge to lift. The other side of the bay. From Simpson Bay we entered the inner lagoon via a classic Dutch lifting bridge. The bridge is lifting now and we are going into the lagoon. Looks like lots of boats have touched the walls of this bridge. in what we hope is going to be a very calm anchorage, the inner lagoon. This is the other side of the lagoon, a whole line of super yachts there, and another line there. A bit cloudy this morning, and we have a machine gun on board. The bank. A few days later, one are left for a trip back home while I stayed and performed several maintenance tasks. St. Martin had excellent yacht services. Now that we're in the dock at FKG, we're having the fridge systems vacuumed. And sure enough, as soon as he started the vacuum, there was a lot of condensation came out, so it did have moisture in it. Let's hope this gets it 100% right. The other thing we're going to attempt to do here is tighten this gooseneck because this boot has got a lot of play in it. I'm trying to work out how to make it a bit tighter. After the long frustrations of our hydraulic van leaking, we finally got it fixed in St. Martin. Other jobs included replacing a GPS antenna. Replacing kinked hydraulic hoses on the cutter Furlex. Rebuilding all the hydraulic quick connects. These are all stainless steel parts apart from the locking balls which are standard steel and rust like hell. Stupid design eh? This time I seal them with heat shrink to try to keep the salt out. Finally I fit a new backing panel to the nav station which we modified two years ago then removed and serviced the Autohelm linear drives and added shelving to the deep bilge area for oil and diesel stowage and lots of other small jobs. In between I was invited to sail on Ineffable, a rather sporty trimaran. 
So this morning I'm going out for a sail on this 60 foot Rapido. We're going to test sail it and see if it's actually faster than cloudy. They say it will be, but I'm not sure. I mean, carbon rig, carbon sails, sure, sure, can't be faster than cloudy. There's the boss, Steve. How about that for a shroud adjustment? Just lots of dynema. You see, Cloudy Bay is so much faster. Two clicks of a button and our mainsail's out. Look at this. It's like watching paint dry, watching this go up. But it's a big main. So we don't run out of water before we get it up. Rain is up. And we are spinnaking towards Saba. Always wanted to go to Saba. You just drop me off in Saba, that'll be fine. A few hours. Not exactly hurtling along, but not bad considering the light wind. Why a flat kite? Popping along, 10 knots or whatever it is. Hardly even feels like it. From Simpson Bay on the Dutch side, with some friends I took Cloudy Bay for a test sail after fixing the Vang and Gooseneck, then anchored in Marigold Bay on the French side. New crew today. Not quite such good looking as Wana. We have Rob and Alex. Hello. And in front Hello. we have, what is it, the A? Oh, yeah, yeah. The A. Which we're going to go past. Quite an amazing yacht. We have Mr. Abramovich competing over here in Eclipse. And in the harbour we have Steve Jobs' boat. Rising Sun. Who's, who's Rising Sun belong to? Uh, David Geffen. David Geffen. Larry Ellison. Transom is huge. And this is A. Unstayed masts. Very slick. And no doubt we're going to come into big wind shadow in a minute. Look at the size of that. That is slick, huh? Not much windage on there. Steve would be happy about that one. Wow. Hello, hello, hello. Road trip again. The island is half Dutch, half French, but the border between the two is completely open. First stop was Battery Beach. We're on a road tour, St. Martin. This is La Battery Beach. One is first day back from the frozen north. Backdrop on most of this island is not particularly pretty after the hurricane. As usual, we've driven up the hill, Anguilla and the distance, looking down over Marigold Bay where Cloudy is, into the lagoon, and the little bit of blue over there is Simpson Bay where we were the first few days. This is the beach at Grand Cass. Bit of a grubby little town, but the beach is actually very nice. Looking across to Anguilla, and the backdrop of the beach, very French style. 
half the buildings again completely ravaged by Hurricane Irma. Hans Marcel, another very nice beach. And behind it, the residential area is still under reconstruction. This is Orient Bay. Of course, after my three weeks on my own, with no wind, it's now windy as hell. Good kiting beach. Very popular. At the kite serving school for another foiling lesson. I'm ready. Oh, look at you! Aren't you a cutie? Is that my little radio to receive instructions? I can only receive, not transmit. Maybe you'd like me to have one of these permanently. Oyster Bay with what's left of the resort and the marina. And now we're in Philipsburg, the capital town on the Dutch side. Very much orientated to the cruise liners. Front Street in Philipsburg not too bad. You get the feeling you're in some Costa del Sol resort. And out there are the cruise liners with Saba in the distance. Where are we going on Friday? Philips World Seafront. is Nettle Beach right at the end of Marigo over there where we're anchored and all along this beach is just resorts that are demolished from Irma like this club here Famous beach for Martin, watching jet land right over the beach. This is the airfront. And along from Maho Beach, where we just went to watch the plane land, we have Mullet Bay. Lovely water, lovely sand. Lovely crowds. Probably where they bring all the cruise landing guys to from. More Irma destruction. It was probably a nice little residence with a swimming pool here and a just look at these places. Destroyed. And this was a metal building as well. I think that's why it's actually still standing. of these buildings pretty, pretty much depicts how the entire island looks like. In this 
desperate, desperate need for reconstruction. Back at the kite surfing school. Here we go again, another lesson in drowning. Leaving St. Martin, where we've been for a long time, rolling around and heading for Anguilla, which isn't very far away, at least it's a sail. <laughs> 